Yo, what's up everybody? We all love to explore new cultures, right? But let's be real, sometimes venturing out into the world hits different depending on, shall we say, your melanin levels. We're talking about the unexpected plot twists when your vacation itinerary collides with some real-world biases. And trust me, nobody wants their dream trip turning into a crash course on smiling through the side eye. We're diving deep into the top 10 countries where being black might mean facing a whole different set of travel brochures, the ones they don't print. Think of it as a heads up, a travel advisory, a hey, maybe pack some extra patience and a whole lot of side eye kind of deal. So buckle up, get your passports ready, and let's get real about keeping it 100 while seeing the world. India, the land of spices, vibrant colors, and Bollywood, it's a country known for its rich history and diverse culture. But let's talk about a reality check for my fellow black travelers. India, unfortunately, has a complicated relationship with skin tone. For real though, colorism is deeply ingrained in Indian society. Don't be surprised if you get hit with stares that could melt steel or find yourself on the receiving end of some backhanded compliments. And listen, we gotta keep it 100 certain areas can be particularly challenging, like, if you're planning a trip to be prepared for some extra attention, we're talking potential discrimination, uncomfortable questions, and maybe even some straight up hostility. Do your research, connect with other black travelers who've been there and go in with your eyes wide open. So pack your patience, your sense of humor, and get ready to experience all the beauty and complexity that India has to offer. Next up, we're heading east to the land of dragons, dumplings, and the Great Wall, China. Now, China's a fascinating place, no doubt. Ancient history, booming cities, and let's be real, the food alone is worth the trip. But for black travelers, navigating the Middle Kingdom can sometimes feel like trying to decipher ancient scrolls. First things first, let's talk about the staring. It's not your imagination, folks. In China, staring isn't necessarily considered rude. So, be prepared to feel like a celebrity even if you didn't sign up for the paparazzi treatment. Then there's the language barrier. While English is becoming more prevalent in big cities, venturing off the beaten path might require some serious charade skills. And trust me, trying to explain your dietary restrictions with hand gestures alone is an experience you won't soon forget. You might encounter stereotypes, assumptions, and even instances of being denied service. That being said, China is a vast country with diverse experiences to offer. Hold on to your Ushankas, because we're heading north to Russia. Land of vodka, Tolstoy, and those iconic onion domes. Russia's got a certain mystique, a blend of history and culture that's undeniably captivating. But for black travelers, navigating the streets of Moscow or St. Petersburg can feel like stepping onto a different kind of chessboard. Let's be real. Russia has a complicated history with race. While not as overt as some other countries, racism and colorism exist. You might encounter stares, whispers, and even some blatant discrimination. It's like that awkward moment when you realize you're the only one playing checkers while everyone else is playing chess. Don't be surprised if you get hit with backhanded compliments or questions about your skin tone. While challenges exist, there are also pockets of openness and acceptance. The key is to do your research, connect with other black travelers, and choose your destinations wisely. Okay folks, get ready for some pasta, pizza, and a side of well, let's just say Italy isn't always as romantic as the movies make it seem, especially if you're black. Now, Italy's known for its passionate people, stunning architecture, and let's be real, the food alone is worth the trip. But let's not sugarcoat it. Italy's got some work to do when it comes to race relations. First things first, the staring. It's like being on a runway, except you didn't sign up for the fashion show. Italians are known for their expressive nature, and sometimes that translates to some intense eye contact. Now, it's not always malicious, but it can definitely feel uncomfortable. Let's just say Italy's not exactly known for its diversity. You might find yourself the only black face in the crowd, which can be isolating to say the least. From microaggressions to being followed in stores, it's like they're playing a game of spot the tourist, and you're the only one who didn't get the memo. Get ready to channel your inner philosopher because we're heading to Greece. Land of ancient ruins, crystal clear waters, and let's be real, some seriously delicious gyros. Greece is a dream destination for many, but let's talk about how to navigate this historical haven while black. Now Greece is known for its warm hospitality, but let's be real, that warmth doesn't always extend to everyone. 
Like many European countries, Greece has its fair share of challenges when it comes to race relations. First things first, the staring game is strong here too. It's like you're a walking, talking Acropolis and everyone's trying to decipher your historical significance. It's not always malicious, but it can feel intrusive and uncomfortable. You might find yourself the only black person in the room which can be isolating to say the least. Hold on to your chopsticks because we're heading east to the land of the rising sun. Japan. From towering skyscrapers to serene temples, Japan is a captivating blend of tradition and modernity. But for black travelers, navigating the cultural nuances can sometimes feel like learning a whole new language. First things first, let's talk about the concept of gaijin. It means outsider in Japanese and let's be real, as a black traveler you're going to stand out. Now this isn't inherently a bad thing, but it's important to be aware of the cultural context. While English is becoming more prevalent in big cities, venturing off the beaten path might require some serious hand gestures and a whole lot of patience. From being denied entry into clubs to getting stared at on public transportation, it's like you're playing a real-life game of Where's Waldo except you didn't sign up to be Waldo. Pack your warmest coat and get ready to explore Ukraine, a country of vibrant cities, rich history, and breathtaking landscapes. But before you book that ticket, let's talk about what black travelers can expect in this Eastern European nation. First things first, Ukraine, like many post-Soviet countries, is still grappling with its own complexities when it comes to race and ethnicity. While not as overt as in some other parts of the world, racism and discrimination, unfortunately, do exist. One thing you might notice is the staring. It's not always malicious, but more of a curiosity, as if you're a rare bird that's landed in their midst. Just be prepared to be the center of attention, especially in smaller towns and villages. Language can also be a barrier, as English isn't widely spoken outside of major cities. Get ready to explore the crossroads of Europe and Asia because we're heading to Turkey. From the bustling streets of Istanbul to the ancient ruins of Ephesus, Turkey offers a captivating blend of history, culture, and natural beauty. But for black travelers, navigating this transcontinental nation comes with its own set of unique considerations. First things first, Turkey has a complex relationship with race and ethnicity. While it's a diverse country with a rich history of cultural exchange, anti-black sentiment and discrimination unfortunately do exist. You might encounter stares, whispers, and even some blatant prejudice. In some areas, particularly outside of major tourist hubs, you might find yourself the center of attention. This can be both intriguing and overwhelming at times. Language can also be a barrier, as English isn't as widely spoken as in some other European countries. Get ready to unlock the mysteries of ancient civilizations because we're heading to Egypt. From the iconic pyramids of Giza to the bustling souks of Cairo, Egypt is a land steeped in history and wonder. But for black travelers, navigating this North African nation comes with its own set of unique considerations. First things first, Egypt has a complex and often misunderstood relationship with race. While it's a predominantly Arab country, there's a diverse population with varying skin tones and ethnicities. However, anti-black sentiment and discrimination, rooted in historical factors and colorism unfortunately, do exist. One thing you might encounter is the hassle factor. As a tourist, especially a black tourist. You might find yourself bombarded by vendors, touts, and locals trying to sell you something or offer their services. While this can be overwhelming and sometimes frustrating, it's often driven by economic factors rather than malice. Get ready for K-pop, kimchi, and a whole lot of cultural immersion because we're heading to South Korea. From the bustling streets of Seoul to the serene temples of Gyeongju, South Korea is a land of contrasts and captivating experiences. But for black travelers, navigating this East Asian nation requires a bit of cultural awareness and sensitivity. First things first, South Korea is a relatively homogeneous society, and while things are changing, there's still a strong emphasis on conformity and tradition. As a black traveler, you're going to stand out, and that's okay. Embrace it. One thing you might encounter is the staring game. It's not always malicious, but more of a curiosity, as if you're a celebrity who's just walked onto the set. Just be prepared to be the center of attention, especially in smaller towns and villages. So, there you have it folks. A glimpse into the realities of traveling while black. Look, it's not always pretty, it's not always easy, but it's always an adventure. Remember, knowledge is power. 
and knowing what you might encounter is half the battle. Do your research, connect with other black travelers, and choose your destinations wisely. Pack your patience, your sense of humor, and your melanin, and get out there and experience all the beauty and diversity this planet has to offer because the more we talk about these issues, the more we can work towards a world where everyone can travel freely and safely regardless of their skin color.